Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. In today's video, I will show you how to install Moodle 4.0.4 on your shared hosting account. This is a completely fresh installation, so I will show you step by step how to install Moodle. Let me show you how this is done, and I'm doing this on A2 Hosting, my hosting service provider. We can now go to our hosting account, click on Customer Portal or Login, Type in your username and password and then click on Login. On A2 Hosting you will be taken to this Login screen where you can access your cPanel dashboard by clicking on cPanel Login. This takes you to your control panel where all the elements within your hosting package or hosting account are accessible. Okay, so here you can access your email accounts or set up your emails. Here you can install certain apps. Here you can access your files. This pertains to all your databases. And here you can add extra domains or subdomains. This is for bandwidth or if you want to transfer files via FTP or you want to see stats on your site. This is for extra security on your website. You'll see here SSL certificate as well as your mod security where you can lock down your website. And this is for where you set up certain software as well as where you can increase the speed of your website. Okay, for this exercise, we are going to install Moodle on our main domain so my domain is elearningportal.education so i'll be installing moodle on that or within that domain okay so i'll scroll down and i'll click on softaculous apps installer this will take me to the softaculous um, dashboard in your search bar type in moodle and you'll see it will be under educational click on moodle and now you can see the different versions of Moodle you want to install. It's now currently on 4.0.4. .4. Okay. You can get an overview of Moodle, what Moodle is. You can read about it. You can click on features and it will describe some features. You can even watch a demo. So let's go to install. Now, under software setup, you'll see choose an installation URL. Now this is your domain name where you want to install it. So I'll leave it on HTTPS, which is the secure uh, certificate. And I'll choose my main domain, which is elearningportal.education. You'll see I have subdomains here, but I won't in be installing it on that subdomain. If I want to install it within a directory of elearningportal.education, I can create that directory here by typing in a name here okay next to it i can select the, the version i want to install if i want to install 3.11 i select 3.11 but for now i want to install the latest version of moodle from here i can click on quick install and it will install the moodle installation uh, but i want to go through all the details uh, first before i hit install okay you also need to name or rename this data directory. If you don't have a Moodle data folder, a folder named Moodle data in your Moodle directory, um, you can leave it as is, but since I already have a Moodle data, I'll rename this to eLearning Portal. I'll leave it as is. I can set up the cron job from here. And this actually runs every 45 minutes, uh, every hour, every day, every month, and every, uh, every weekday. So I can choose here to either increase or decrease this. And I'll usually make it um, five every five minutes for the cron jobs. And this is basically if you, your site sends out emails, it will look for uh, new jobs every five minutes to send out. Okay. Or if there are assignments due or quizzes due, uh, the cron job is, is important since um, it will e execute those tasks every five minutes or every hour for every day, for every month, for every weekday. Okay. 
scroll down here you can um, rename this to your site name so i'll call this e-learning portal dot education uh, and i can have a site description i'll call this accessible online content okay now for the admin account this is for you to log into your site okay um, i'll leave this on the number there so it's admin username and then the admin password and usually i copy this and paste it somewhere in a word, word document and i'll also copy the password and i'll paste it somewhere in a word document okay scroll down and now you can type in your first name so i'll type in my first name and then your last name and then where should the admin email or the admin uh, support emails go to so i'll leave it on admin at elearningportal.education and then for support support at elearningportal.education okay so once i'm happy with all of these i scroll down and here i can choose to allow this information to be sent to the email account so i'll choose the admin at elearningportal dot education okay uh, under advanced settings i can also choose my database name and um, if i want to choose to automatically back up and so forth but we'll leave this for now when i'm happy with everything i click on install from here and this will take a few minutes to install and it will provide you with those um, links to actually access your website So there you'll see it. we're done there's our link to our website and this is our admin link so now we can click on the admin link here and it will take us to the login screen where we can log into our Moodle site uh, and do some customization okay okay so now let's click on administrative URL I'll right click and I'll open it in a new window or new tab okay so there's my username and i'll paste my password in there and then click on login okay so here we are logged into our new site if we scroll down you'll see we have a new moodle installation moodle 4.0.4 .4, and it all looks good let's click on home and it will take us to our home page we don't have any courses on here um, and we'll do this in our subsequent videos.